we have Earth's magnetic north pole migrating away from Canada and heading towards Siberia. And this has geologists questioning why. And for the longest time, this pole has been moving. And I've mentioned many times before that the excuses do not add up as to why the composites come out the way they do for the North Pole and why the magnetic North Pole is on the move and heading towards Siberia. Lots of speculation with this. An incoming body in the heavens affecting the Earth. Well, you're going to definitely see that affecting the other bodies in our solar system. Do not forget that. If it's going to affect our planet too. So keep an eye out for that if that's what you're leaning toward. And then we have pole shift or pole flip magnetically, which has happened many times in the past. And it's usually when they want to get around that 40 degree mark where this tends to make the flip. Now, whether we're going to see that in our lifetime, I do not know. But one thing's for sure, the magnetic north pole is on the move. Now, they've been tracking this since like the 1800s. And as you can see here, this is where it's been going and where they expect it to be come 2020. Now, this is the geographic North Pole. And this is what I want to point out. You see that hole? This is Greenland. This is that spot that they're, they're saying is the geographic North Pole. A mosaic of images from NASA's Terra satellite shows the entire Arctic region centered on the North Pole where the dark spot indicates missing data. This is what they tell us. They tell us that satellites cannot go over this area because of the magnetics. Well, that's wrong. You got the wrong pole. I don't know if someone got confused here when trying to give up excuses as to why this composite is the way it is, but this is not the magnetic North Pole. This is the geographic North Pole that just so happens to have a huge hole in it at all times in an area where they'll let no one go. Where the militaries of all the planets have ships, especially Russia, as they have icebreakers up here all over the place. And you wonder why they all fly a flag in Antarctica. So here we have the geographic hole and we have the magnetic one going by the area. This is out in the Arctic Ocean. You can see right there, Arctic Ocean, where it sits. So the excuse has been satellites could not pass over this spot, this hole, because of the magnetic field and everything else going on right there in that region. Well, if the magnetic pole is in a whole different spot, then what the hell is causing your hole? And how come that hole never moves? They're trying to say that it's if it's magnetic related and satellites and everything can't go over it, then how come they're not having an issue with the magnetic pole that's moving? How come they can fly right over that? It just doesn't add up to me. And this is just uh, some of the latest here in terms of the field moving, the, the northern pole moving. So in this tug of war between Canada and Siberia, it looks like it's heading towards Siberia for now. It looks like the last time that they updated this information, there was an anomaly that took place in the northern part of South America in 2016. And they're saying that it happened after they updated in 2015. And that they're going to go in and they're trying to put in updated real-time data right now to catch it up to speed. The next big update is in 2020. But some updates for what it's worth here. A lot of questions still remain. I'll leave a link below. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for more. It's been Dabu7. Much love, y'all.